Boating and fishing are two of the major things that draw people to our shores. And the Bradenton Boat Show is going to be at the Bradenton Area Convention Center this weekend, showing off everything from the simplest kayaks to the fanciest yachts. There'll also be lots of exhibits and activities to help you enjoy your boat once you get it. And you know the biggest topic of conversation besides boats? Fishing. Fishing guide Captain Rachel Cato is going to be there. Yes. We're so glad you came here first. You're going to be giving seminars yes. and lectures and showing people person to person how to fish. Hands on any anything you want to learn how to that's tying knots or checking, checking and using and picking out artificials. Yeah. We've got a lot. I'm glad you brought artificials. <laughs> yes. I feel so sorry for the bait. But we can use artificial lures then. Yes. There are so many seminars that are going on each and every day from mm -hmm. live bait to artificials to kayaking to deep sea offshore fishing to mm -hmm. inshore fishing. And it's not just myself. There's a whole list of other guys that will be there all day long. Well, show us the difference between these lures now. I'll choose the biggest one. <laughs> I like this guy. Yes, he's the prettiest and the biggest. So what would I fish for with him? So this is a really great artificial to use. Let's say if you want to go out and fish the, before you go into work. Put your waders on right over your pretty outfit. And this will be used just as the sun's getting ready to come up. And it's a great low light. It's a top water bait, so it'll jig along the surface, mm -hmm. and basically you're just trying to move that bait along. It's you can wiggle it and makes pretty, you know, pretty okay. nice little sound. It's pretty loud. Yeah. Okay. What about some of these down here? Yeah, I'll pick this one here because it's not the size of the lure that matters. Here. <laughs> it's, it's the right. sparkle. It's, it's this one. It's shiny. It's beautiful. What does this one do? This is a great lure for using on the Sunshine Skyway fishing piers or any piers, mm -hmm. and also at the beaches because it's it's heavy. You can cast it a really long distance. Uh. It's very shimmery, shiny, and also the jigs, these, not the jigs, the treble hooks are really great for catching Spanish mackerel or any of the fun, like the ladyfish, bluefish, anything that has lots of teeth and that just strike it, just to strike the, the actual jig and not actually the hooks. So when you are picking your lure, you have to consider location, type of fish that are there, and time of day? Time of day the wind, wow. depth of where you're fishing, if you're fishing a sand bottom, a grass flats, if you're fishing along a fishing pier with deep water, fast moving current, and what kind of species you want to try to catch. Uh, now you've got a pretty intense hook in front of you. Let's just pop that up <laughs> for just a second. Whoa! Here yeah. we go. Hold that steady real quick and we can see oh, what I'll is hold this it that one way. for you. Oh, yep. that catch. So this is another, this is a oh, spoon. Here, here, I'll hold it up. There you go. A spoon? So that is a spoon and that's just a type of spoon. And so it's another, it's a similar to a gotcha. This is a stick jig and that this is just a single hook. Okay. You're a lot less likely to hook yourself or your friends oh. around yeah. you <laughs> with a single hook. It casts really far and it gives a lot of flash. You're also able to use that in shallower water by reeling it faster. As ah. opposed to this one, it's going to drop like a uh -huh. lead weight. Okay. This one's a little bit lighter, but it still has some some weight to it. Yeah, I'm glad fish like shirt. flash too. I really <laughs> think I'm hey, you think well, you're all girls, right? <laughs> well, whether or not we have this one or the one down there, we've got to tie them on to our fishing pole. Yes personally tie them on. They don't come that way. <laughs> Show us how to do that. Now I see we've got to tie it through here. Right. I, I am not ready for that. <laughs> no. Could we try tying it through the handle That's and right. then move down? Right. So if you're at home and you just want to try a tie something, just even a, a any kind of a rope or a line, you don't have to start with a thin piece of leader. What you're going to do is just put it through the loop of anything. When I learned... Like a cup. Right. When I first started guiding, I'm like, I have to learn how to tie knots <laughs> and tie them fast. So I tried with everything. So basically, you just put it through. You have the short piece right here mm -hmm. in your left hand. Mm -hmm. You're uh -oh. going to, yep. <laughs> I've, okay. I've then you're gonna the okay, but you're going to transfer it to your right and lay everything on your left, just like lay this. Everything on your left, okay. And you're mm -hmm. kind of looking at it from the side. Mm -hmm. okay. The way it's. Got it. Correct. So once you get it like this, this is called a tag end. You're going to take your tag and you're just going to lay it over. Lay it over. Did I lay it over right? Uh, How can I miss up on that? <laughs> well, I'm with you, Linda. <laughs> so okay, bring your hand over. like this. Uh huh. So maybe lay it that's. Over. So bring your hand up in here, your left hand up in here. 
Okay. This is so, a badge we did not obviously yeah. get. Well, yeah, that's Scouts. okay. <laughs> but this is, so during the fishing seminar, mm -hmm. I am there, and I'm there for quite a while, so I can spend as much time as you need. Oh, good, this may take yeah. days. Learning that's how to tie knots. Nice so once you're if, there. Captain Rachel, even if people are not necessarily in the market for a boat, mm -hmm. or, 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 or know that they are, through. this is a great opportunity to learn more about oh, fishing exactly. and boating. There are no stupid questions. Tell us a couple other things that people can expect when they go out through. to the show. There, there's a boot. There's many booths there, but the one big booth that shows all the fishing rods, the tackle. Uh, you have all the different types of leaders. Mm -hmm. When you walk in, you can oftentimes be overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, which do I pick out? Wh where do I even start? And that's where they have the individual attention you can then spend with everyone. Oh, I love okay. it that I can talk to you personally yes. and have you teach me this and see those gorgeous boats, too. Well, thank you so much, Captain Rachel. The Bradenton Boat Show is this Friday, Saturday, and it. Sunday at the Bradenton Area Convention Center. So and for more information, you can really go to simple. their website. That is thebradentonboatshow.com. Next, the Suncoast Health Organization celebrates a very big milestone. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5.